All right, so today I'm gonna be offshore fishing, but I'm not gonna be on my boat. I'm actually gonna be on my cousin's charter boat. So today should be a really good day. Lighthouse Point, a very popular uh, little landmark here in South Florida at the Hillsboro Inlet. Pretty excited because I don't get to do a lot of offshore fishing. about to throw, get the lines out and um, at this point I, I don't really do anything but sit here and watch the uh, professionals at work and if, if they catch a fish if we get a fish on hopefully I can uh, reel one in and uh, we're gonna put out a planer we're gonna run a planer hopefully get a water maybe some kingfish and then uh, we'll have some lines on top for you know same thing if I you know if I get a bonita or something in case any of you are wondering what kind of boat this is, this is a 25 foot Dusky. It's got twin 175s. Uh, they got it built, they got it completely custom built for charter fishing, so they got the layout just wide open. So you can fish completely around the entire boat. I mean, if you work on the boat. Yeah. It looks like we might have something on here. Feel it out. You guys have to hand line it in when you reach that spot? Yeah. Okay. Nikki, get on the run. But in case it runs? Duties, gonna hand the gaff over. All right, first fish in the boat. Nice little kingfish. Right, so we caught that on a, a bonita strip that he cut. The Thomas, Captain Thomas, right here, cut up. He's gonna throw another one on, and then he's gonna get it out in the water. All right, we got a fish on. Um, if you guys want to give it to me, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, cool. This is going to be on me. Yeah. Don't even know right, if I can put your hand up right there a little bit, and you're going to pump up real down. Pump up. Drag a little bit. Come to my conclusion that there's way too much line out in the water because I am extremely tired. Getting there. You're, kind of, you're almost halfway. Really? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get these fish, sometimes you gotta let them all come to a mile. Alright. My first bonita ever. Alright. So that was really cool. First bonita ever. So we just ran out to deeper water, and now they're gonna cut up the bonita and drop it down and see what we can get. We got Roy son. And we 
got a nice little blue runner. Do you guys use that as bait? Yeah, we can. A nice chunk out there. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Got him on. Second one. Oh, so really? Try, it, try to push it down. It can't do it. You'll break it. Let me give this a go. All right. It's like. And like... then you push that down and it comes right down. Huh. Oh. Trigger fish. You gotta pull the trigger. Check that out. So they put the chum bag out the back and they've been uh, catching a whole bunch of small ballyhoo while we're sitting here dropping. I already put a ballyhoo on mine, live bait. And um, I guess they'll start rigging, up, rigging the lines up with live bait. Come on guys. Yeah. Oh, cool. Got a little grouper. Uh, at least I know what a grouper is. Too small to keep. Cool little fish. Look at those blue spots on Really cool fish. Too small, so it's going back in. Got a little, um, that's a lane snapper. That's a lane snapper? Yeah. So you're telling me that's not a mutton that everybody was yelling at me about? That's a lane. That's a lane. The ones you were catching were baby muttons, and you can tell because the, the spot on the muttons is like super. You got a couple baby lanes. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. What is he? It has to be over eight inches. Yeah. Can I get my uh, my Gatorade? It's like sitting in the thing. I'll still drink it. I don't care. Very probably. Oh. That's what this is, right? Yeah. The shepherd. Yeah. The hydrogen. Yeah. Ten year old breeder. It's well known around here. Yeah. It's good for like bottom fishing, like a like a reef. Yeah. Alright guys, this will be our last spot it looks like. We're gonna be trying out. See if we can get a couple more fish and then we'll be on our way back in. Got something on over there? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it was like super corny, but like just super yeah, fun. And I heard it was super cheap, like super cheap, like the editing and the filming. Oh, they and... literally made it themselves. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I got the last thing. Oh. I have a mutton on. You do. Same as I got a mutton up with the sharp rum. And he's got a pretty good mutton snap on. That's a. That's a big one. Damn.
How many of those did you get actually? Uh, seven, eight. We can count the bonita I brought. Yeah. We caught it in the trash bag. Oh, That's a king. Today's keeper. Yep. Yeah, boys. I'm trying. I got the king, so I'm yeah. the biggest one. No, pass me the king. But uh... all right, I'm gonna be bringing home a chunk of kingfish, and uh, maybe I'll do a catch and cook. I don't really know how to cook kingfish. Maybe I'll, I'll try to to cook kingfish for the first time ever. That'd be kind of cool. If you guys want to go on a fishing charter with uh, my cousin Thomas and Royce, their fishing charter company is Downright Fishing. Um, I'll leave all their information in my description. Yeah, so if you guys definitely want to book a charter with them, the information will be down in the description. It's an end to a really good day. And um, next weekend I'll be on my boat. I got some kingfish to take home and cook. But um, yep, see you guys next weekend.